Hey, I'm Brian Fuller. Welcome to Fuller Hot Rods. Now we've been using service solution brands for a long time. Cue the graphic, they've got a few. And they're actually coming on as an official partner after us spending a lot of money with them. Now they want to come in and now we're working together, which is a lot of fun. So I thought just to start this relationship out, we'd show you around the shop, show you what we do day to day. And the first one I want to show you is my 33 Ford Public Enemy. Now this is my own personal ride. And right out the back, you can see, I've stuck the gas outside of the car. Why? Why would you do that? Well, I'm out of room. <laughs> it's a Chop Channel 33 Ford, and I'm putting four people in it, which is nearly unheard of. We've got an uh, aircraft gas cap here in the back, aircraft tank. Okay, now look inside. You see why I have to have that gas tank outside? I have no room. And uh, so this is where you put the kid or friends and Nick, you know, all the guys, so we can go to lunch. And I'll sit here, trim it five speed. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Come up to the front. Ho, 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 ho. 2011 Ford Racing 5.0 motor. This baby makes, thanks to the Whipple Supercharger, obviously, makes 625 horse and probably only weighs 2,400 pounds. So this baby is gonna scream. It's got discs in the front that look like drums and it'll actually have AC and heat. And I'll, it's gonna probably escape out of the top. So that's really not gonna go so well. All right, hey, I'm trying to have TV here. Sorry, Brian. Okay. This is Nick. Nick is working on the Chief Ambassador, which is 33, 34 Indian frame, 40, 46 Indian sheet metal, and the 71 Modoguzzi. Modoguzzi. I just like to say that. So then we put some Stromberg hot rod carbs on there, which is our pain right now. But you want a starter? Yeah. We're, we're getting there. We have a lot of tuning left. But. I told you I needed tuning. All right. But you know, hey, it's a start. We just started yesterday. Rode around the block for the first time yesterday. All right, come on, next. All right, next up, 68 Norton. Got Rob here. Say How hi. How you doing? Rob is, uh, the main deal is gonna be aluminum tank, aluminum fairing, which we've never done and chromoly frame, so nice and light. And one of the cool things we did was we uh, swept the pipes in kind of like a uh, dirt track bike. Normally on a dirt tracker, you're leaned over. So you've got the pipes on one side, your legs hanging off so it doesn't burn you. Well, if you put them too far out on a normal street bike, when you go to make a right hand turn, you're gonna burn yourself. Right. It's not gonna be good. So what we did was cut away the frame. That way we can pull the exhaust inward some more Keep it out of the way of your leg. And um, so Rob's making the frame right now, getting that going. Should be pretty cool. It's going good. All right, back to work. Okay, this is where we torture Field. Field's making a gravity car, soapbox derby car. And the freaky thing is uh, he had to design how to make this work. So not only does it go, can I sit in? Not, oh, we don't have a wheel on it, it's fine. Not, not only does it go up and down and keep the rake where it is, it also has to steer. So Sweetwater Brewery, local brew company, and their mascot is a fish. So it's gonna be a big fish body, but it's got to turn, not only turns for the Red Bull race. Uh oh, it goes up and we do wheelies. It's a hopper, it's a hopping fish. And it turns. I know, this thing works awesome. <laughs> okay, next up we got the double down Brian's working on here. And this is the Mazir fuel pump. No, I'm just kidding. It's a radiator pump. Look at those holes. So this baby does how much? 55 gallons per minute. 55 gallons a minute. You think your little water pump on your car does that? I doubt it. Now, the big thing on this is all wheel drive, what? 2,400 pounds, we're guessing, yeah. somewhere in there. Um, it's got a Kazi Boss motor, which should make six to 800 horse easily without even trying. And, and then- Quick change. Quick change, coming out of the grill. And really that's probably the, even in all wheel drive 32 wasn't freaky enough. 
put the quick change out of the grill, kind of like an old uh, Bentley had a supercharger coming out of it. So this thing's going to be for road race events and maybe eventually a Bonneville. So it's going to be pretty fun. Change gear ratios on the fly. <laughs> Gotta go. All right, last but not least, the Thundertaker. I can't say Thundertaker without just going Thundertaker. You see how long? That's all custom metal. We're still walking by it. It's still happening. All right, glass I'm not gonna show you because it's covered up. But under the hood, 500 pounds of torque, GM crate 454. And all this metal was custom made. So this will end up Euro European silver all the way around the outside with a gloss black motor. And um, two and a half years, we're almost to paint. This is like a serious, serious project. It's got the world's largest Morrison chassis. It has four wheel disc. It's got maybe the largest sunroof in the world. All custom aluminum interior that'll eventually be covered in white leather. Um, airbags front and rear. And I don't even know where to keep going because this you could literally talk for hours about the amount of stuff that's inside this. Okay, last one, one more. The exhaust, we, uh, we've got stainless exhaust. Normally this used to be taillights. 20, or, oh, what, 18 feet of two and a half inch stainless that goes all the way out through Magnaflows. Raise the fins four inches, it's a lot of work. I almost forgot my baby, the Shogun. Now this is all hand engraved, custom metal that we made here at the shop, custom frame. It all means the art of metal. And if you looked around in there a little bit, we know something about metal, we spend a lot of time on it. So I do love this thing. Someday, maybe I'll actually finish it. All right, guys, thanks for coming by the shop. Hopefully you enjoyed the tour. We'll see you next time. Keep an eye out for videos. What, you don't have a custom golf cart? Come on.